So here's everything you need. Extra, all this extra spring. We want to check the choke. So see all this extra spring down here? This is very tight, which is keeping the choke closed instead of letting it uh, ease up by letting out the spring a little more. And take the gasket, unhook the spring. I can't get this out because there's an air tube coming into the carburetor here and a fuel tube down into the tank and that prevents it from coming out. So we're gonna have to take the tank off like this and then pull the carburetor out. So there's two bolts that have to come off to get the gas tank off. Um, one here, which is a 10 millimeter socket or a 3 8 And one here, which is a 13 millimeter or a 1 half. Give this a little twist. Okay, there are five bolts. There's one, two, three, four, and five. All right. First observation, there's a lot of water in it. So that, I think, comes from the ethanol. So we'll have to clean this all out. And there's a lot of dirt in there, too. So we'll get that cleaned out. Here's the diaphragm. You can see the diaphragm is not uh, flexible. It's just uh, deflated there. Okay, this is the gasket. So I'll take that off. And then this is the diaphragm. It actually uh, looks like it might have a hole in it. I'm trying to get out the water. We're gonna try to clean out that dirt with some uh, Q-tips. All right, a couple things you want to check out. One is the filter in the bottom of this tube. Make sure that's clean. And then the, this filter, which looks like a can, you can slip that filter off and clean it. There's a spring. See the spring? Don't want to lose that spring. And then there's a pin right there. You want to make sure it doesn't pop out. Other than that, just clean it for dirt. All right, well, we did a pretty good job cleaning it up. Um, I wasn't able to get all the dirt out, but quite a bit with the Q-tip and blowing it. Um, now you can really see the construction. This is a very cool gas can. This is a aluminum cast top on a aluminum formed bottom. So that all this detail is actually cast and machined into the top of the gas can. I think that's kind of cool. All right. First we're gonna lay down the diaphragm. And then we've got the gasket. Again, matching up the holes. Well, I'm going to try putting them on upside down because the tube wasn't going through that hole very easily. I just held on to the gasket and the diaphragm as I pushed it in, but it looks like all the holes I can see through. You should always uh, put the bolts in um, opposite each other. So I put in this bolt first, then I went opposite over to here, and now I'll put this bolt in, and then I'll go opposite over to here, and then I'll go across over to here. And then when we torque it, we're going to do the same thing. So we're gonna come at it almost 90 degrees and then just twist it. And then there's that linkage. And then we're gonna come up. Now we'll hook up the spring and then let's get this boot back on. It would have been easier to put this boot on when I um, was bringing the tank up. And we'll return the gasket. We put the V of this towards the back. Reattach the spark plug. Well, let's give it a go. We'll prime it. That sounds perfect. <laughs> 